save it for when all of your pylons are up and running, and be ready to replace one if it gets destroyed. Pylons that are warped in after pylon overcharge is activated can also attack enemies. Hello, hello, good evening, HOTS fans. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's NGS Division D West matchup between Maximum Thrust versus 210 Blackman Street. Um, this is uh, going to be an interesting matchup because both teams are fighting for their playoff lives. First map we are going to is Infernal Shrines. Um, and they uh, have the lobby going, so let's go right to it. Alright, on the left side, the blue team, we have Maximum Thrust. On the right side, we have the red team, 210 Blackman Street. And first ban, first pick goes to Maximum Thrust, and they banned Stugoff. And 210 Blackman Street banned Li Ming. Interesting. Li Ming is not a normal hero for this map because those little monkeys kind of blocked the way of her orbs. But I guess maybe she's trying to do the... Um, planning on killing the little monkeys with her orbs, since it is a bigger AoE. Maybe they're going to try to to erase it, or they don't want to erase it. Hogger, now that's a normal ban on this map, um, because you can get an infinite spin on those shrine and kill those monkeys pretty easily. And Anderin was also the other ban by um, the blue team. But that leaves Joanna up for the uh, blue team to pick. First pick for his ban. They definitely chose Joanna since she was left up. And Asmodan... Picked by the red team. Uh, he's going to be for the AoE, the shrine. He's going to try to pick up some um, lots of monkeys from it. Hey, Salber, sir, aka Sarge, how you doing? Hey, Dingo, I, I like it that you love these videos. Glad you're here to join us in the match, this Division D West match. Meanwhile, in the draft, ETC was picked up as their tank. Um, we're going to be looking for that cowboy mash, mosh on the red team. And D.Va and Sylvanas on the blue team. D.Va's going to have some decent control on the shrine when she gets her bunny hop. I assume she's going to do bunny hop. And then the bomb explosion will also zone people out. So, so far they got decent um, shrine control. The red team has Asmo, so he has decent AoE too. So Rhaegar is banned by the blue team. I'm trying to choke out the heroes, but there's still Brightwing up. Um, he's one of the OP healers right now because he got the point and click CC and the AoE healing. And never mind, Brightwing is banned out. All right, so both teams still need healers. So let's see, there's Deckard Kane. He's pretty good. There's Taronda. There's White Mane. White Mane is one of the best healers if you can play him. Cause... Oh, Malfurion and Jaina. Okay, there's more AoE. Malfurion with the roots. I mean, he's probably going to do the sleepy roots. And Jaina. Um, I'm going to assume she's going to Frostbolt. And fro the Ring of um, Ice to um, pair off with ETC's Marsh. Falstad, you got a global there. So, the healer for the blue team is Ariel. Okay. Um, I guess the battery is going to be D.Va, since D.Va likes to shoot a lot. And Thrall on the offlaner for the red team. Okay, who's, who's comp do I like better? I don't know, they're kind of even. If um, ETC can land his marsh, that's going to be um, quite deadly. But blue teams has got some decent damage too to counteract it. You got the aerial whip and Sylvanas, she might go um, silence and the diva bomb. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. All 
Okay, here we go. Game one of this Division D West between Maximum Thrust and Belcom Street. On the left side, the blue team, we have Anyone playing Joanna, Vacuity on Ariel, W Star on Sylvanas, Zeliv on Diva, and Ace on Falstad. And on the right side, on the red team, we have Slow Cheetah on Jaina, Malfrax on Malfurion, Asterix on ETC, Samfex on Thrall, and Dominator on Asmodan. All right. Ooh, laws of hope. You don't see that too often. So it's to go on quest and pick up those globes. Increasing clarity, appearing shadows, full metal, gathering storm, lingering chill, vengeful roots. Oh, he's not doing sleepy roots. He's doing the broccoli build. Interesting. Fog rock, rolling thunder, and gluttony. Oh, first blood. There goes um, Jaina taking out Sylvanas. Yeah. Oh, there's the slide by ETC. Condemn on jo um, by Joanna to zone him out. As my dad saying, no, I'm just going to get stacks here. He's already got 26 stacks on the the middle brawl. Mini, middle beginning brawl. He's doing pretty good. All right, so blue team is ro rotating bottom. Red team is going to try to gank Diva. The root misses. Yeah, it's hard to... Gank Diva if she has her um, thrust there. This gives Blue Team a chance to get the bottom camp since everyone's on top. They're still trying to get Diva. There's a little Broccoli. Oh, Broccoli dies behind the gate. Okay, interesting strategy. Oh, nice whip by Ariel. Oh, is there enough? Not enough. Thrall survives with 100 hit points. Alright, middle lane is being ignored right now. Jane is going to pick up the soak there. Blue team's going to push hard because they have a Savannah. She's shutting it down. Shutting the towers down. They're going to get both towers and the gate. Red team's ganked on the top. Didn't yield any results. So blue team is getting... Oh, nice move by Thrall! Oh, it could be in trouble! There's the dunk by Asmina. Here comes Joe! Oh! Nice Thrall! Oh, that wasn't Joe. That was Malfurion. He was coming in, leading the charts. All right. Oh, ETC is okay. So red team's got all the kills so far, even though they're behind structure. They're pretty even on experience. All right, Shran's up. Both teams are level five. Everyone's got to clear their camps. As well as just trying to stack. Blue team's going to get that camp, and red team's going to get theirs. Everyone's ignoring the objective for now. They want the camps pushing with the objective. Falstad, he's a global. He's okay. He can join anytime he wants. He's got to be careful. There's two red there. All right, Diva's first on the objective. Red team's a little slow on getting to camp, but that's okay. ETC is looking for a flank. All right, Falstaff finally cleared the camp. He's coming up. Nice whip by Ariel. There's no follow-up damage. Steven and Jane on objective. Everyone else is fighting in the middle. Here comes Falstad. He's finally joining in. Oh, nice condemned by Joe to save the Ariel. And the Ariel goes, bad cow, bad cow. Kills ETC. Thrall follows him in his death. So blue team is up two players and have control of an objective. Looks like they're going to get the first one. And they got um, talent lead for now. The red team is about to get theirs. The level seven. Whilst I went back to middle to go to soak. Red team really is a late game um, team. They need to wait for Asmo to get online, get his stacks. Oh, the jump by! Oh, etc was almost there's the bomb by David zoning him out. 
They had to back off. They didn't want to take extra damage. E.T.'s trying his best to create space, but he's so squishy. Oh, E.T.C. goes back in again. Malfurion's trying to root him. He's got the little broccoli's... Oh, goes in the background, takes out Savannah. Does he pay for it? No, he does not. He gets out. And E.T.C. slides back in. Diva could be in trouble. Does she have a boost? She does have a boost. And they saved the fort. Wow. Jaina did a good job pulling pulling the objective away from the fort. Nice job, Jaina. Alright. Oh! No follow-up, though. Oh, it was okay. Alright. Experience is pretty even. Here comes D.Va. What's she going to do? She's going to take camp, but she's going to get sniffed out. Oh, she didn't have that boost, so if she got rooted, she could have been in trouble. Four people there. Thrall could be... Nope. They're coming in. Here comes Falstad. Nope. He's okay. So Savannah and Jerry's going to finish off this fort. Alright, first fort of the game goes to the blue team. Red team's going to invade the camp. All right, successful invade and successful um, fort taken. diva has got to clear the camp on the bottom, but she's okay. Red team is taking their camp. Sends up first by the blue team. Ring of Frost, Tranquility, Tide of Sin, Sundering, and... Oh, stage dive! No mosh! Oh, my control on ETC! Diva in the back line with the bunny hop! Oh, they want the cow! Oh, stage dive away! Back into the fight! Oh, but Diva's using a bomb! Oh, Ring of Frost! Oh, gets three, but I need fault. ETC goes back in! Gus was used with nothing! ETC Tranquility's keeping him alive, but not enough! Dead cow! First one on that big fight, all that buns pressed, and all we have is ETC dead. That was a nice little fight. I'm really surprised um, ECC took stage dive, but he was able to survive that um, burst. Oh! Nice mind control and slammed the stun! Oh, beautiful aerial job there! The mind control, Ariel positioned himself up here and slammed him into the wall. Nice play by Ariel. And they're going to go invade. They're going to invade. Diva's already there. It's one man down, 5v4. Nice whip by Ariel. There's D.Va trying to zone him out. Alright, Thrall's up now, but can he get there in time to help out? Red team's kind of split, but they are sandwiching um, the blue team. There's the bunny hop. Oh, nice stun from the bunny hop. Oh, Ring of Frost gets two! Oh, Stace is on. Falstad saves him. And Asmo. Oh, Savannah takes out Asmo. Malfurion's trying to keep everyone alive. But Asmo was not anywhere near the vicinity of that tranquility. All right. Blue team starting to flex their muscle. Jaina hits, uh, is hitting people with her Ring of Frost, but there's no follow-up. Which gives blue team the early lead on the objective. They're leaving Jaina there. Going pew pew pew. Blue team is trying to force the bottom fort. Oh, shut down by Savannah's. But they're going to nice mind control. Here comes stage dive, but not far enough. Oh, Sundry on Ariel. Oh, she, that's a dead angel. No! The Ariel lives to zone up by D.Va. Steven and John has zoned them all up. Oh, beautiful. It's peeling by the blue team. Oh, but ETC. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't think he needed that, but I guess that was to play it safe. Aegis down. Oh, there's the broccoli, but he's okay. ETC's trying. Oh, Diva. 100 points. Blue team's trying to regain control of the objective. 
Not at his root, but unstoppable. Here comes the broccoli. ATC slides back in. We got Baby Diva. Oh, Ariel takes that ATC. Ariel's doing a lot of work, though. Valfurian couldn't keep him up. Oh, that was Sabanas who died. Oh, nice. Malfurion took got the kill. All right, 34-27. Blue team just needs... Oh! Oh! Slam dunk by Asmo! Oh! I don't want to try to get the last couple of uh, monkeys, but he got dunked on. Blue team did get the... Oh, 100 points. Blue team did get the objective, but can D Diva? Diva? Oh, yes! Dives it in with his thrust, but are they going to pay for it? It's Baby Diva. Took out the bomb, trying to buy, create some space. And successful. Asmo's caught in the back. Oh, he thought the tower was going to save him, but nope. This this fort is gone. Blue team is doing a really good job peeling for each other. All right, Diva's getting the camp. All object. Oh, 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 oh. oh, what was Thrall doing out there? What was Thrall doing out there? Ring of Frost gets one, gets Frost dead! Oh! Yes! El Ring of... Oh! No! ETC! Oh! Well, okay. No damage, I guess. No harm, no foul. He survives. Okay, so... Objective got the... Uh, two towers in the gate. The team is getting the... Bottom camp. Diva is just pushing, pushing, pushing. Asma has to clear the top. Red team's gonna try to clear the middle. Oh, mind control misses. All right, blue team wants the last red fort. There's the broccoli, but Savannah was able to e out. All right, I don't think they're going to be able to get this mid fort without another kill. So blue team is going to give it up. Diva went back to soaking. Thrall needs to clear the bottom. All right, we're going to have another fight for the top camp. Oh, ETC. Oh, yeah, he is. ETC is so squishy. And without the threat of Marsh, I mean... He is really not that um, anything to be scared of. Usually, you have the mosh, just, you're always afraid. Well, if he's coming in, he just mo might mosh me. But without mosh, he just comes in and the blue team says, okay, let's go kill the cow. Austin's going to clear the bottom. At least, um, red team finally got their level 16, so they'll have even talent. The team's looking for invade. Or... Can they get it? Mind control? Nice! Oh! Beautiful Ring of Frost gets one stage dive, but... Aegis to save him. Whip by Ariel to save. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. Oh, but Falstad was in, caught on the other side. Oh, Ariel couldn't save Falstad because he wasn't anywhere near there. Ariel's on point with her Aegis and her whips. All right. They want this middle fort. Vlad misses. Root misses. Blue team's going to get camps. Alright, successful invade. Asmo's almost done. He's got already 324. Nice. We got 22 on the broccoli stacks. 31 on the Laws of Hope. Wow, that's a lot of um, regen globes. Alright, Diva's back on. But Asmo stole it, so Asmo 
red team actually has more monkeys than the blue team, even though Diva was on it. Oh, Diva's rooted. Oh, but not enough. Baby Diva does not come out and play. All right, red team on the strength of Asmo is leading the objective. Nice stasis again, but Baby Diva's out. Ring of Frost doesn't hit her though. Ariel's down. Zoe's down. Gus to disengage. Oh, they want Baby Diva. All right. Tanking the healer down. I think this objective is going to the red team. Red team is fighting back. Blue team has to go back and heal. Ooh, are they invading? Nope, they just wanted the bird. All right, red team gets their first objective of the match. What can they do with it? There's the jump. Nice. Nice pull by Sylvanas. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Though Asmo can still jump, dunk on them. E.T.'s looking to zone them out, but... That gives the first fort... Oh! And the... Oh, the root doesn't hit. Sylvanas is doing a really good job of pulling the objective away. Mind control misses. E.T.'s looking. He's looking. Nice! Condemn! Oh! The guts into the tower! There's the bunny hop! Doesn't get it. Ring of Frost misses everyone! Oh! Diva's in the back! There's the bomb! Can it hit anyone? Nope. Oh! E.T.C. boops the bomb away. Nice job of E.T.C. there. All right, so blue team did pretty good. They got 4,000 left on the keep. They're going to again fight for this. Asmo's got his quest complete. He's going to be hurting a lot now. Stage dive away, I guess. All right, blue team was able to invade. Got the camp. All right, just keep this fort is down with Savannah's there. All right, everyone's got 20s. Blinded by the light, Shield of Hope. Shield of Hope, wow, don't see that too often either. Dark Radiant's Call, Ablative Armor, Wind Tunnel, Cold Snap, Lunar Shower, Cloud Pleaser, Wind Rush, and Pride. All right, what can they do with 20s? Blue team set up for a gank. They're hoping that red team will do an unsafe rotation. Nope, red team is smart. Ariel's trying to be the bait. Here they go. But Oh, mind control misses. Condemn misses. Thunder misses. They're all pressing. Oh, nice. Nice shield by Joanna to, to stop the chase. Disengage. All right, Falstaff is going to fly to get the camp. Joe's going to be there eventually. Red team just has to push back the, the lanes. All right, is Falstaff going to objective? No, I think he's just going to clear. Oh, no. Blue team's invading. Trying to get Sunder. Oh, Thrall gets out of there. The bunny hop. Mind control misses. Um, Diva's just trying to be an annoying, annoying uh, little robot there. Little mech. She has no fear. <coughs> Savannah's on the other hand. Needs to be careful. Oh, there goes Steven to zone him out. They want Ariel. Thrall wants Ariel, but he gets mind control. Sunder gets him, though. But everyone's still far behind. Thrall is so far ahead. No one can follow. Thrall likes to chase. Almost got the kill there. If Asmo had uh, Dunk available, 
Might have gotten something. Mind control. Nothing. Condemn. Here we go. Malfear and Pops his tranquility. Blue team's just running backwards for now. Oh, man, those dunks are starting to really hurt. Red team has firm control on the objective. Mind control misses. He's just shooting it out. Sh oh, look at that. Mind control is almost back up again. Such a short cooldown with the level 20 upgrade. Nice slide by ETC, condemned by Joanna. Oh, no, mind control in the back by Sylvanas. Takes out Thrall. The bunny hop and Joe's zoning everyone else out. ETC's in trouble. There's, oh! Oh, nice gust into the, into the wall. Oh, can they get a thing? No! Dead cow! Sylvanas kills him. Jay is dead. Oh, beautiful gust. Nothing they could do. And Diva's going to zone everyone else out. Oh! Oh, Asimo dunked on the chicken. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, but is he going to pay for it? Is Diva going to make him pay? Nope, he's okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Red, Red team's going to lose the keep. They won the objective, but they're going to lose this keep, especially with Savannah's there. Malfurion had to pop turn curly to save himself. But it doesn't matter, this keeps down. The objective might get the uh, fort, but fort for a keep. Good trade, good trade. And blue team is gonna still camp. All right, blue team's going to save. Yeah, better, better kill this thing. Diva's still getting get the camp though. Red team has to clear. Red team is so first far back. All right, nothing left to do but get camps. Are you going to sniff it out there? He face checked the bush. But it was okay. No one there. Red team is looking for a, a gank. They might get it. They might get it. Oh, Ring of Frost, it's under my control though. Oh, oh, Thrall goes down again. Condemn. Oh, the gust into the wall again. But Malfurion's got his ult. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oh, ET's trying to stage dive out of there. My control misses. They're chasing, they're chasing. This could be it. I think blue team wants to... Well, they got to get through this one first. But they don't really. They could have just walked by it, but why not? It's a free keep. Mind control again! No! Oh, that's abuse of power there. ETC is gonna. No! Oh! Savannah still gets it. I thought he was gonna make it. Oh! GG. GG. First game goes to Blue Team Maximum Thrust. GG. All right, let's look at some stats. 134 damage on, I mean, on our quest, Sylvanas. Look at 72,000, 10 kills. Oh my gosh. ETC and Thrall is getting picked on. Thrall liked to dive in and got, um, Punished for an ETC is really squishy. 
Hey, Bunk of Fun Time. Thank you for the 69 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just in time to finish seeing the end of game one. Maximum thrust takes it over 1 0. All right. Let us see if we can find out what game two is going to be. I think part of the problem um, Red Team had there was ETC. He was not really a threat at all since he took stage off. He would he was doing a good job coming in, peeling, and booping people, but no one was scared of him because he didn't have Marsh. I think if he had Marsh, there was lots of times where they were bunched up that he could have marshed and Jaina could have come in with the Ring of Frost. Oh, thank you. Um... Dr. Blair Games for the 100 bits or the 100 cheers. Oh, well, yeah, bits. Cheered with 100 bits. Thank you much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the first game. Um, we're going to game two while we wait for the... Oh, and for the Amazon Prime subscription. Thank you, Dr. Blair Games. Thank you much. I really, truly appreciate it. All right, I just got pinged. The next map is going to be Alterac Pass. And while we set that up, let's look at the standing. As you can see, Maximum Thrust and Blackman Street are um, fighting for the playoff lives here. And it looks like... Uh, Actually, Maximum Thrust got got the final spot, the eight spot. Blackman Street would have needed uh, domination to get three points to jump over him. So, um, at warp, at best, Maximum, even if Blackman reverse sweeps, they could only get two points and get thirteen points. Maximum Thrust will also have thirteen points, but Maximum Thrust will have the tiebreaker since. Oh no, then Blackman Street would have the tiebreaker since they beat him. So yeah, Blackman Street needs to reverse sweep. So, um, both teams still can have the playoff potential. Oh, Dr. Blair Game says he's enjoying watching while he's playing. <laughs> yep, well, I hope you're having fun playing and watching. Bunker Fun Time says it could be a tie. Yes, but 210 Blackman Street would have the advantage, right? Because they beat Maximum Thrust, assuming Blackman Street reverse sweeps them and takes it over. Well, we'll see. So, uh, if Maximum Thrust wins, they're in. If Blackman Street reverse sweeps and wins, then I think they're in. So, this is definitely going to be hotly contested. Okay, everyone's in the lobby. They're setting the captains. Ashbass says she's working also, but it's not as fun. Uh, sorry to hear that, Ashbass. But you know, work is important too. You'll just listen to my voice in the background. You are working hard. You are working hard. You are working hard. All right, let's see. I guess they're not ready yet. Maybe someone's taking a potty break.
Okay, here we go. We are ready. Let us go to the draft. All right, first pick, first bang goes to the red team. Who are they going to... I think they should ban Joanna. Joanna was kind of a... Oh, Sylvanas. Oh, Li Ming again. That must be a target ban. Someone must be playing... Um, well on the blue team as Li Ming. And Stukov. Common ban. Common ban, yes. I approve. Let's see. And Hogger. Okay, same bands um, for the red team. Definitely must be target bands. And the second band is Joanna. Oh, okay. Blue team did not want to give up Joanna to their red team since they got first pick. They definitely wanted to ban them. Still have Brightwing up, though. If you want Brightwing. Point and click CC is always advantageous. But Blaze, okay. I assume that's going to be an offlane Blaze. Could be a main tank Blaze too. Don't see that too often though. Okay. Rhaegar. Rhaegar was banned last time, so I decided to pick him up this time. And Sylvanas. Here we go. Target ban on W Stars Li Ming. Okay, so now we know um, who they're targeting. So Li Ming is gone. Decided to take Savannah's again. And Varian. I assume that's going to be Taunt Varian. Taunt Varian on when Savannah's tries to go in again. And Vala. Okay. Vala wasn't even brought up in the first game, picked up this time. All right, so I'm going to guess they're going to ban a healer here because the red team still needs a healer. There it goes, Anduin. They're willing to give up Brightwing. Didn't want the uh, man boy himself, Anduin, pulling anyone out. And let's see, they could ban a tank. You know who I like here for the blue team? Stitches. I wonder if they play Stitches. We'll see. I just like Stitches though. I could be biased. Stitches is awesome because you could hook um, someone in the objective into your into your towers. Or a Nubrak. Oh, Gaslo. Oh, okay. Okay. Blue team's going to show you, this is how you play ETC. I sure hope he picks Mosh, though. <laughs> I, I just don't understand why a main tank would pick Stage Dive. Oh, well, maybe this is an offlane ETC. Oh, that could happen. That can happen. All right, so red team needs a healer and another DPS. Malfurion again, and Asmo again. Okay, so red team's combo is Taunt into the Malfurion route with the Asmo Dunk and the Valo Auto Attack. Okay. And blue team's going to counter that with... Let's see. We'll see if that's main tank ETC. Falstad, yeah, main tag, ETC. So Falstad comes back. He's He had some key gusts in the first game. So Falstad and Sylvanas is back. We'll see how they do. Baron's going to be quite squishy until he gets um, some levels on him. See how Malfurion can protect them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice portrait synergy on the blue team. Not so much on the red team, but that's okay, I guess. Okay, game two of the battle for the last playoff spot in Division D West. On the left side, we have the blue team. Maximum thrust up one game to zero. We have anyone playing ETC. Faculty on Rhaegar. W Star on Savannas. Zelov on Gazlo. And Ace on Falstad. And on the right side, the red team. Um, we have Slow Cheetah on Varian. Zamfex on Vala. Dominator on Asmodan. Asterix on Blaze. And Malfrex on Malfurion. Oops. All right, here we go. We have Block Party. I guess that's for um, Vala. Overwhelming Affliction, Rocket Roots, Gathering Storm, Overpower, Creative of the Hunter, Auto Attack, okay. Gluttony, Adrenaline Stimpak, and Vengeful Roots. Blades went straight to the top lane. He's slowly getting... Um, the oh, nice stun, but it's still early. Still early. Savannah's is okay. Kazla went to the bottom, and Red Team hasn't picked up that soak. They're losing soak there. All right, the rest of the teams are in the middle. Blue team has a slight advantage lead because red team lost some soak on the bottom. So it's going to be Blaze and Vanus on the top and Gazlo and Vala in the middle. Rhaegar's taking camps. So it looks like both teams are doing a 1-3-1. One, one. But blue team is ahead on camps. Or at least they will be. Oh, Variant. Yeah, but he's okay. He can't kill him. Alright. Vala's only got eight stacks. Hard to get stacks when Gazel just keeps running away and you're not in the team fights. Alright. New team got their camp. Red team snagger and get their camps. Four is the first by the blue team. Followed by the red team pretty soon. There's going to be some damage on the wall since their camp came here first. Alright. Yep. Taunt Varian. Not surprised there. Let's see what he can he do. Oh. ETC was rooted for a second, but... It was only for a second, then he was able to walk out. <clears throat> oh, there's the taunt, but that was just to... Oh, ETC said, you taunt my chicken? I'm going to boop you. Okay. Gazlo is just AFK pushing on the bottom. Savannah's has already got the top tower and one gate. Structure damage, which again goes early lead to the blue team. All right, they're looking to gang Savannas. All right, well, Varian was in this bush, so there's no way he could have gotten there to taunt. As I was picking Soak in the bottom, Gazlo was waiting for the camp. No one is actively trying for the objective. There's the taunt. This is Vala. Oh, Vala vaults in, but no problem. Alright, once Vala gets more um, stacks, it can be a big problem. Oh, Savannah's! But he's, he's, he's there! He's, Savannah's okay, but ETC gets taunted! And he follow up! Oh, there it is, yes! ETC saved Sylvanas, but he was surrounded. The rest of the team was not there. But blue team's still ahead because Gazlo's AFK pushing on the bottom. Uh-oh. There's the root. Could be in trouble. And yes, Rhaegar in trouble. He could not cleanse himself. <laughs> no, he was one dead puppy. All right, first two kills goes to the red team.
They want that playoff spot. ETC, face check the bush. <laughs> That's real good patience and varying not to come in there. Oh, they want false that. False that you're going to get taunted. Oh, he was able to dash away. Oh, ETC. ETC gets taunted, but no one else is there. Oh, red team gets the objective, though. They stalled him enough. Blaze is trying to get out of there. Gazzle's trying to. Oh, the bottom's getting Zed. Can they get him? Oh, Blaze get charges away. Oh, but Varian's on an island. Varian, oh, he's okay, though. I'm not quite sure how Varian survived, I guess. Everyone else was clicking elsewhere. But he was surrounded by blue people. Alright, what can the red team get? Nice slide by ETC. He's just booping him away. Alright, nice defense on the middle. On the top. Baron's waiting for Savannah's to come out. Oh my gosh, so low. There's the taunt, but there's no follow-up. Blaze misses. ETC was able to boop him out. Nice peeling by ETC. All right. And they saved the top also. And, okay, so they got some wall damage, some towers. But they were able to get tents first. That's something. All right, bunker, Tides of Sin, Shield Wall, Main of Vengeance, Tranquility, Gust, Marsh Pit, yay! Here we go. Ancestral, Mind Control, and Grab a Bomb. I'm going to see a Marsh Pit, followed with a Gravel Bomb, and then Sylvanas is going to kill them all. Nice stun, but Blaze, you, you used your escape. There's the mind control. Four-man gang. Blaze. Bunker, but not going to save you. Everyone's up here. Everyone is up here. But you got some stacks for Asmo. Okay. There's the taunt, but... Oh! Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I think Falstead misclicked and ancestral himself. Oh, my gosh. That could have been disaster, but Falstead was able to get out of there. Almost had the Ancestral and Fostad. There's a taunt. Savannah's shut down the fort, though. Rhaegar's still okay. The gust into the corner. Oh, no. Bala. Oh, Fostad gets bold. Malfurion was on the other side of the fort. Could not heal. Bala. Mind control misses. Blue team wants this top fort. Varen's looking for a... Uh, as soon as his wall breaks down, Varen's going to come in for a charge. Oh, Gazlo maybe? There's the taunt. There's the stun by Blaze. There's the root. Oh, Gazlo! Oh my gosh, how did he not die? Bunker saves him. Oh, Bunker. Oh, but Savannah still goes down to the tower. The tower was got off being shut down and kills her. Oh, that bunker, that was well placed. All right, guys, let's go back to AFK on the bottom. Do what he does best. All right, guys, getting camps. Ooh, boss. Spot it out. He has Gust. Is he going to try for it? Is he going to try for it? He spotted it out. Oh! The stun! The taunt! The root! That's a dead bird! Oh! Nice play by the red team! Nice! They they layered the CCs perfectly. This could be the um, first part of the game. And now the red team's not going to push it. So, I think they're going to be able to def defend. Blaze is trying to be annoying. This team's going nice taunt on Rhaegar. He was able to insist on himself though, but he's rooted. Nice! Oh! Gazlo was able to um, peel him off with the Gazlo bomb. 
blue team is really good at peeling for each other. Well, plays bomb by Gazla there. Oh, it did get the top fort. Oh, there's the Marsh! Oh, it's only one, but it's enough. It gets um, Blaze. That's one down there, one Varian. Savannah's just going in, but decided against it. All right, that Marsh kill, I think it's going to give Blue some time on the objective. Guys, those clearing bottom. I think red team wants wants to try to fight them off. Blaze is coming. Mind control misses. Oh, but the Foster dives in. There's the root. Oh, Foster's dead. Birdie dead. Blaze with the stun. Two man stun. Oh, ETC goes down. Two dunk dunk misses. Nice. Red team takes it over with 4.4 seconds left. All right, Varian's looking for a taunt. Oh, spotted out by Rhaegar. Nice push check there by Rhaegar. Very nice. Mind control, but Blaze there to peel. I think this is going to go over to red team. I don't think they're going to get there in time. Well, that you're going to get taunted again. Oh, there's the guys. Try to disengage. Try to get the bunker to zone them out. There's a three man marsh. Can they get anyone? Oh, no. And just throw an ETC. Guys, no bomb. Get someone. Gets two. Nice. And ETC walks away. Oh, Matt's Ancestral on ETC to save him. And Gazlo picks up the kills with the bomb. But Red Team gets the objective. But they're not going to be able to push with it. Vaughn is going to clear the top. Blue Team is actually trying to push bottom. Alright, easy clear on bottom since uh, Red Team had three dead. Now you're going to try to save the middle. Spawns will take the top. Alright, 5v4 in the middle. Are they going to wait for Savannah? There she comes. Gonna get camps. Nothing left to do. We go get camps. All right, blue team gets stairs. Our team's gonna check the boss. Are they gonna actually try it, or are they gonna bait? They are going for it. I don't think they're gonna get it done in time, but they have gust. They have Gust. It is shown. Nice stun. Oh, the taunt. Where's the follow up? The mind control. And Chester will hit. Saves him. There's the Gust into the corner. Oh, Valfurin dead. Bunkers dropped, but Varen was nowhere in. Oh, Falstad. They got one kill, but Blaze. He could be in trouble. Nice stun, but he's still going to be in trouble. He is gone. Three dead. Then Ancestral saved ETZ in the nick of time. Alright, Savannah's is going to shut this down. The ball is going to be able to push him back. ETZ is going to try to save the mid. Blue team is going to try to still take the boss. I don't think Vala and Asmodin is going to be able to do anything. Well, they chased him up. Oh, there's the mind control, but where's everyone else? Oh! That was a nice mind control, but the rest of... Oh! Rhaegar. Rhaegar went for it. But <laughs> I think they're a little miscommunicated there. Everyone... Everyone was trying to solo someone. All right, well, at least Red Team was able to prevent the boss. 
Are they gonna try it? Yes, they are. Blue team is nowhere going to be in it. Nice steal by the red team. Meanwhile, blue team, you should know they're on the boss. Either get the a fort or get the objective. Oh, they might try to get Asmo. They might get... There's the nice mind control. Oh, there he goes. The ancestral. Oh, and oh, miscommunication. ETC Marsh, but Falstead um, gusted them all away. That's okay, I guess. It'll be back up for the objective. Blue team still has to clear the boss. I think the support is saved. I think they save it. Yeah, they save it. Yeah, has those AFK pushing in the top now. My team is gonna. Are they gonna? No. Now they go get camps instead. Blue team's gonna get the bottom fort. Lots of value from Savannas. Guys, yeah, I was afraid to step up. Aaron's trying to soak. They're two levels down. The gust doesn't really hit anyone. Trying to isolate Blaze, I guess. Oh! It worked! It worked! Bomb misses, though. Gazzo bomb misses. But red team is still. Mind control misses, also. Blue team wants to force a fight. They're a man up and a level and town lead up. Guys, are going to try to get the objective. There's still a level up. Is blue team going to force a fight? My control misses. She's just popping out. Here comes Blaze. Where's... Okay, Marsh up in 10 seconds. He's looking for Marsh. He's looking for Marsh. Here's a boop. Okay, I think... Oh! No! Oh, Gazlo! Oh, just a two-man dance, Marsh! Malfurion's keeping him alive, though! Oh! Marsh missed Malfurion, so he was able to pop tranquility to keep them alive. Oh, the gust! Will that ensure the objective? Mind control gets one, but that's not going to be enough. Nope. Red team was able to push him back without the Gazlo there. Red team was able to take it over. All right, now they got 20s now. They did a good job. They got the kill down at town level, down 20s. Glory to the Alliance, Pride, Fortified Bunker, Lunar Shower. I assume you're going to get, oh, Acrobat. Two additional charges of the Vault. Interesting. Not getting the range one for the auto attack. Okay, blue team is just going to get camps. Now that Gazlo's back up. They got 20 seconds to push the red team off. There they go. Everyone to the choke point. Everyone in the choke point. Root gets two and got stunked on. Oh, Vile's in the back line. Oh, the gust. Beautiful gust. But the Gazlo bomb. Savannah takes Vala, the Ancestral! Oh, ETC! He's in the middle of everything! Stunned by Blaze! Oh, everyone's pushing buns! Oh! Only one dead! Two dead! Oh, blue team! Wow! That could have been more, except Gazlo's bomb missed because the Gust first came. So the Gust, gust, gust everyone away. The bomb misses, but still that that left Blaze on the wrong side of um, the defense. And everyone fell other than Asma. Vala charged in deep. She charged in really deep trying to get the kill. Alright, with Savannah's here, 
Does she have a trade up? Is she gonna shut down this keep? Nope. That's okay. With the help of the nulls here, this keep is gone. And they're gonna focus on the bottom one. There's the trait. I'm gonna shut down, shut it down. This could potentially be GG if they get another kill. Nice mind control and Vala! Oh, the guy's no bomb! Gets one! But misses Vala, the bunker! Oh, it is the match! Oh, yeah, it did get blaze, he's dancing! Oh! Oh my gosh. End objectives here. My control misses. Red team needs to fall back because the objectives here are just keep. Oh, nice stun by Blaze. Two men stun. Oh, Gazlo. There's the gust for the disengage. They will able to get the second keep down, though. And the Nexus is falling. He's going. 8,000, 9,000, 7,000. Blaze is gone. This is GG. Oh no, maybe not. Rhaegar's gone. Red team's pushing back. Fall's going in. Oh, Fall's dead so low. ETC's trying to zone him out. Oh, but he's going to pay for it. Ball. Yeah, there he goes. Death Marsh, nothing. They saved it. Game. Oh, I thought they were down. I thought this was game. Nice job, Red Team. Nice job. Okay. It's not over yet. Red team is far behind, but that's okay. Blue team is going to get boss. Red team is going to try to two-man the boss. This will be interesting. Can they do that? Is that enough healing? Oh, wait. Here we go. We got variant to tank it. Blue team easily got the boss. Oh, they're going to get stunned. Oh. They're going to get stunned there. All right, they got it. Once Varian got there, it was, wasn't too bad. Oh, false, I just missed it. Bird might still get fall. Bella. Oh, there's the town on the bird. Gazlo got one. Mind control. And the gust into the, <laughs> into the little rock. Oh, golly. Oh, those gusts. Those gusts. Oh, red team got the boss, but blue team got the kill. And they need to... I, I think the core is okay. I think they'll... They'll kill this boss in time. Alright, bosses are cleared. Are they going to do the camp first? Or are they going to head straight to the objective? They're doing camps. Okay. Red team still needs to clear. Blue team gets the first points on the objective. This red team still has to clear. But plenty of time. Plenty of time. Everyone has all the buttons up. Who's going to press them in the right order? To decide this. Oh, look at that. Asmo dunk. How many does he have? Oh, there's the oh beautiful march with the bomb. Oh, and the glass into the wall. Oh, no one can move. No one can play the game. Oh, ball is not gonna. Oh, they they leave all alone and kill it. No. Oh, that's the only one alive because he's far away. He's just dunking on everyone. Oh my God. Oh, but Boston wants him. Oh, good night, Lord of. Death. That's what he is. <laughs> GG. It's a five-man team wipe. Maximum thrust wins at 2-0. GG. All right, let's look at some stats. Uh, 
Ah, that's not good. 106 leads to damage. Nice. Problem is, um, they also have 22 deaths. Savannah's with 80k damage. Gazler with 80k also. Not far behind. Well, hello, anyone. Welcome and GG. Hey, yeah. Well played. Um, so yeah. first, I want to say congratulations. This seals your spot in the playoffs. Yes, that's my understanding. <laughs> it, <Huzzah. laughs> it was basically whoever wins goes into the playoffs. If they had... If Blackman had won, they would have gone in the playoffs. Or if you had won, you would go in the playoffs. Yeah, that was yeah. We 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 were looking. I, I had uh, other captains messaging me like, okay, if you win one, then we're all tied and blah blah. Yeah, so we had all the. Everyone was 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 watching this one. Oh, so you're saying um, we had my most viewers in this game? <laughs> oh, I, did, I don't. I didn't even notice. Uh, that. I, I didn't see the stream, but yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I'm just. Guessing, I have no idea. <laughs> but GG's. Um, so let us talk about the first game, Infernal Shrines. Yeah. Uh, were you? Um, well, first of all, we weren't expecting Infernal Shrines because you didn't. You you thought they didn't have a good uh, winning percentage on that. So did that make you feel confident going into that? It did. Yeah. Yeah. I my my now my my usually I run like some more extensive stats tonight i kind of just like looked over their things and didn't have a, a, a thorough understanding so i could have been off on my stats but i i felt confident going into it well i mean you did really well um especially um with the sylvanas pick you were able to take a lot of structure early and mm -hmm. just gave you the early not only level lead but structure lead yeah they they went for that early top left yeah i noticed that yeah. and so you said let's go bottom yeah that, that was that was i, I wish we'd i wish we planned that better I've, I've now seen a several teams do that same top keep early to us so maybe that's the new meta that i wasn't aware of or maybe they watched few plays and saw it work on you they said well let's try it again on you yeah that's that's fair because <laughs> we, we did not handle it well last time well you did much better than, but you had the Sylvanas. I think that helped a lot in both games. For sure. Yeah. No. The the Sylvanas pick is is nice. Um, we're we're we've we've tried to expand our hero pools so that everybody has like multiple heroes that are annoying, so that teams are forced to make you know hard decisions. Right. And they kept banning Li Ming, and someone exactly. said in Twitch that that was a target ban on that your Sylvanas player. Exactly. Yep. Were you so, surprised yeah. that they gave you Johanna in that first game? Um, no, because my Johanna win rate in NGS is not high. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it, so... it just went up today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every little percentage I, points helps. Yeah, I think I think I think that was a, that was a calculate. They're like, whatever, this guy sucks. Let's let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> So on the second game, Outback Pass, again, you got Savannah's, and again, you got the early structure lead. Yeah. Uh, it turns out those two things help win. So, um, you know, we, we did throw a little bit on that one. There, there, was, there was a couple of bosses. Like, the, the, the bosses were a problem here. Like, I think we, we died, almost died all the way to one. We didn't get the first two objectives, right? Right. So, um, yeah. So it was. It was not. I mean, I, I. You know, I think the 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 kills and the damage and the healing kind of tell a different story. But in terms of you know having control of the game, I think we were a little less in control in game two. Um, but you had so much structure or lead that it didn't matter. Yeah. I no. For, for sure. That that helped a lot. Being able being able to kind of yeah slack off a bit once we got once we got some of that lead. And then there there was a point I noticed where we had like two of their keeps at like two health point, you know, two HP. So we, we finished those off. And then right. once we got those, I was like, oh, okay, now I feel better. Now you can breathe easier. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave on the second game MVP to Falstaff for his gusts. There were, yeah. there were so many into the wall that it was amazing. Yeah, no, that was, yeah, his, his gusts were, were good. Um, 
you know, he he joined us mid-season, um, and so we've uh, we've tried to figure out where his strengths are, and uh, apparently and it's found Falstad. It. Falstad yeah, and so. Sylvanas, that's your... <laughs> yeah, the your... go-to convo. Yep, I think in the playoffs they're going to be starting to ban those out and let you have a chance on Li Ming. Exactly. <laughs> I guess that won't be too bad. Let's, let's go, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so that means in the playoffs you will probably face LTK We Hate OBJ in the first round. Yeah. Um... You know, I've, I've, I've seen a few teams, like some of the top teams have lost to some of the bottom teams. So I think I think everyone is, uh, I think everyone's competitive. Well balanced. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's always good to shout hear out, that. Shout out to the uh, placement committee, which I'm on, doing a good job. So, you know. Yeah, pat yourself on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you landed in the middle of the division, so you did a good job placing yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be it'd be rough if I if I was like, yeah, I dominated. Funny how that works out. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any other shout outs that you would like to give? Um, you know, I think I think uh, you know, NGS has been uh, you know, doing a good job keeping everything going. So, thanks to all the and I know there's been some board turnover this season. So, you know, I think our our NGS folks do a lot of work on the back end that we don't see but i think you know let's uh i'll, I'll appreciate them tonight yeah they they definitely do work hard do and uh my team my team for giving me a hard time every game no matter what so thanks guys. <laughs> yeah i'm sure you appreciate all that <laughs> <laughs> okay and yeah cool man well, thanks for the cast yeah it was enjoyable all right, GG, next yeah. time. All right good yeah. luck next week see ya all right all right. Well, thank you um, for joining me on this Division D matchup. Maximum Thrust seals their place in the playoffs with uh, domination 2-0 over 210 Blackman Street. Um, I will raid you over to Raka. She is um, casting, let's see. Collecting countless stars versus cheese counter cheese. So, um, say hi to her for me. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. And thank you for the follows and the bits.